uh, far-right conspiracy theorists are harassing a business called Voodoo Donut, and uh, they've harassed other small businesses in the past. Um, I did a story in January uh, about the ice cream shop Sweet Jesus that res was totally harassed um, <laughs> by a lot, well, a lot of folks that just weren't pleased with the name Sweet Jesus. Uh, but then also conspiracy theorists jumped in on the, and they were saying that they were, this is <laughs> this business is run by the Illuminati or some crazy stuff like that. We live in a cartoon. An epistemological cartoon, as Terence McKenna used to say, and it's just it's just getting crazier. And Sweet Jesus isn't the only business that's been the target of an online conspiracy theory. Voodoo Donut, which is a popular donut chain based in Portland, Oregon, has received similar calls and tweets, etc., in the recent weeks. And uh, they're very persistent. The manager says uh, the calls are coming in every hour, uh, and they would pick up the phone, and the caller would say, "We know it's happening at your place." Oh yeah, we know. And then they'd hang up. <laughs> they try to ignore it, but the calls keep coming in. The harassment comes from a group of fervent online conspiracists who have been targeting private businesses and individuals with harassment campaigns and accusations of being involved with the Illuminati and child sex trafficking rings, which is a little crazy to, to accuse it. Uh, an ice cream shop and a donut place of being of running child sex trafficking rings but you know we're talking about people who have lost their mind so of course they're gonna say things like this maybe they're just pranking though maybe it's, maybe these are just pranks we don't know I don't know the whole story uh, that's what I'm trying to learn right now <laughs> so sparked by a video posted on a YouTube conspiracy channel this group whose members are also largely followers of the canon conspiracy theory has flooded Voodoo's Instagram and Facebook posts and have left Yelp reviews on Voodoo Donut accusing the owners of child sex trafficking. Uh, last week, Voodoo Donut's original Portland location received more phone calls from conspiracy theorists than customers ordering donuts, which the employees are saying is a major problem. <laughs> They're tying up the phone lines. Get a life, conspiracy theorists. Come on. Do you, do you have nothing better to do than harass a donut shop? <laughs> like, what the hell's wrong with you? I just can't even stand these people. I mean, if you took all this crazy weird energy and put it to good use, we could solve all of the world's problems in like one week. <laughs> Instead of... Man, if people weren't out there, you know, spouting out about conspiracy, like the Illuminati and, um, and how much they want to have babies with ghosts, and we took all that energy to solving, I don't know, the fresh water problem or cleaning up the ocean, we could get all this shit finished in a week. <laughs> but instead, people are running around with crap inside their brain and spending their time doing the most just useless, I would say even counter, in, you know, like just problematic shit, man, really. I mean, of course, for my show, it's great because I get all this, this weird, all the weird activity out there it just gives me a, so much material. I can't even get to all of it. But I mean, come on, man. You got a whole group of people, just, you got a, a, a bunch of like uh, telemarketers harassing small businesses, claiming they're the Illuminati. This is what the, this group of telemarketers is doing. This group of telemarketers could instead be raising money for cancer. But no, they're calling a donut shop and saying, I know what you did with those babies. <laughs> I, know you, I know you're making donuts and spreading chemtrails. <laughs> what the hell? I can't even deal. So this group is fueled by a website called Big League Politics, a far-right media outlet that publishes conspiracy content and has been used to raise funds for prominent Republican politicians. Oh my goodness, this is what they're doing with their time and energy and resources? This is just... See, this is what I'm talking about. It's a whole... They have a whole media outlet, and this is what they're doing with it. You have all this equipment, all of these employees. You can make things. You, you have... Obviously, you have a budget, and this is what you're doing with your time and your money. You're harassing a donut shop. <laughs> calling them up all day and being and saying things like, I know what you did, Illuminati. I know you I know I know about that pyramid on the dollar bill and I know what you're doing with child sex rings. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean the harassment campaigns highlight how conspiracy theories that form in deep corners of the internet can have real world consequences. That's right. It can take down somebody's small business. It could like you know, take the food out of the mouths of, of a family that's running a small business and the food out of the mouths of the people that want to have these delicious donuts. 
The same theory that led conspiracists to Sweet Jesus and Voodoo Donut previously focused on Comet Ping Pong, a Washington pizza shop where a man fired a rifle in 2016 during a self-investigation of online rumors that a child sex ring was being run out of the basement of this pizza shop. In fact, when the facts came to light, turns out the pizza shop doesn't even have a basement. Uh, but yeah, some, some conspiracy theorist person decided to shoot a gun outside the place. This is like a waste of bullets. <laughs> this is a waste of humanity. It's just a waste. Oh man, I wish half of us would just walk into the ocean. I really do. <laughs> There's just too many people, and so many of them are so bored. And it's just, what do you do? What do you do? Uh, well, anyways, for those of you who have a lot of time on your hands, I'm going to give you a, a tip, a, a little piece of advice. Do not spread uh, conspiracy theories. Don't even go to these websites. Don't be a part of it. It's just a waste of your life. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. Instead, you know, go out there and volunteer. Volunteer at a, I don't know, a soup kitchen. You know, anything. In my neighborhood, you can even, uh, they have, they have think, in my neighborhood, for instance, you can get together with a bunch of other people and every night they make sandwiches and then they go down to Skid Row and they give them to the people that live in Skid Row here in Los Angeles. That's a great way to spend your time, I think. Much better than uh, firing a gun outside of a, of a pizza place that you think has a child sex trafficking ring in its basement. Turns out it doesn't even have a basement. That's just my opinion. Um, I'm kind of an idiot, but on certain things, I think I got my finger on it. I really do. My finger in it, on it. Well, I, in it. 